Alrighty, putting the crank in the AF05. I got it all set up. I don't freeze them like other people do. I got a good puller, so I just pull them in. Um, just one thing when you're pulling it in. Uh, it's, so it's tight right now, so it's not going to spin around. Leave this straight up. He's going to pull. Because if you go on the other side of one of these dowels, you're going to pull the dowel out, you're going to mar it all up, or you're going to pull and bend your connecting rod. So keep it straight up when you're pulling. And you get this here. You get a big adjustable. All right, just grab a 26. Like I said, keep it lined up. Keep your eye on that. Line this up so this hits the bottom like so. Hope you guys can see it's kind of hard to film. I got it on my head today instead of my chest. See how it's squeezing that gap right there? Watch that gap. Getting smaller. Sometimes this will bottom out and you gotta back out again. Start over. Spot. All right, it's coming in. See the gap now? Not much. There ain't that hole there. That'll make my life easier. Close. I don't want to go too far. All right, that's it. Loosen it up. Everything spins good. Oh yeah. This thing's gonna be hammered in there now. There it is. Here it is, one side all in. Still moves very freely. Look at the other side already. So we're gonna take this side here. We're gonna Honda bond all right here. And this is two different engines. So I gotta pull this dowel out. Right here, like so. And this dowel. So we're gonna leave this dowel together. So I'll do that now and then I'll show you. All right, so we got the other end here. So, the greatest silicone Honda Bond. It's cold as hell, it's been cold as hell, so it's gonna be a little, a little slow moving today, just like me. Just doing a skim, we're not doing anything crazy. And if we have to add some, we'll add some. Just doing a skim. You know, without the dowels here, this is nice. So we'll do that. All right, 
Full fight. Glubby. Don't drop my phone. Clean up the inside lip. She don't need any inside. Time to sling it together. All right, like everything, keep this straight up. This goes down at all. I have a bad time. All right, so it's just hitting them dowels. I'm starting right there, same crank puller. dowels are hitting. This is straight up. Yep. Like that. Same system here. Hold on. Tighten. Just gotta pull it in. It's all even going in. This crank pulling tool has a little dowel that goes into the crank seals. So this is a great puller. All right, we're almost there. And we're there. So then we back this off. the crank. So then we're going to put the eight. The eight's in here. It's in a bag. Oh, that bag. Oh, that bag. Probably should organize the bags a little better before I make a video, but oh yeah, AO5 variated. So this is... I'll never remember which one goes where. Just trial and error here. I'm doing better than I thought. Three for three. Four for four. Let's try that one. Oh, wow. And one more. All right, let me grab an eight. We'll tighten that all up. Here it is, ready to run. So it's like doing uh, wheels on a car, star pattern. These I'm just snugging to hand tight. Once they all touch, then I go back and torque a little. All right. These are very small torque mounts, so I think it's like 10 foot pounds. So what I do is I just hold the ratchet on the extension like that, and I don't give any leverage, and I just turn by my fist like that. That's how I've done it for years, so I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, that's all of them. Let's just go back and give them all one little bump. Awesome, and that's a crank install on an AFO5. Clean up a little Hondy bond down there. A little gooped out. They always a little goop out, but it'll burn out. Perfect. There's that. I'll be doing seals and then I'm going to do the kit after, so stay tuned.